evening, ladies and gentlemen, Firestone, the name that stands for highest quality in tires and tubes, presents the voice of Firestone, the program that brings you the best in music on regular radio, FM, and television. Featuring Howard Barlow conducting the Firestone Orchestra and Chorus, and the soprano star of the Metropolitan Opera, Concert Stage, Radio and Television, Eleanor Stevens. Voice of Firestone and other uh, programs of its um, ilk were very wonderful at that time in helping develop the big personalities of the of the young American artists that came into the Met around about 1940 when I first went in there. We really were stars. We were stars at the Met, but we were really. Eleanor Stieber was a star of the greatest magnitude. In fact, one of the great divas of operatic history. Singing such roles as a Countess and Figaro and, and, and all the Mozart things, that's just like a caress and, and massages to the chords. And uh, I think that there are voices that just do last. in yes. the in the tone try that once more please yeah as she thrilled a generation of opera lovers at the met and on radio and early television now she thrills a new generation a generation of young singers as their mentor their teacher. Now, does that make you feel like you're saying, I don't find any peace? I think you could take... Miss Stieber recently celebrated her 71st birthday, and she continues to work hard, teaching at the Boston Conservatory of Music and at Juilliard. They won't get it. What you want to do is to touch those people with your singing. And man... I think of her almost as like a second mother. We're pretty close. Yeah, she's a great lady. She's extremely genuine. She's really, uh, she honestly cares. A lot of people... Jeff Weber is 22 and has been seeing Miss Steber once a week, at least since he was 14. A lot of teachers that I've come across don't seem to really care for the individual person uh, as much as just that they're teaching a student. And she, she seems to make it very personal, and a lot of other students that I've spoken to feel the same way. Jeff came to me when he was only 14 years old, but he told me he was 16 because he heard that I didn't take any uh, people uh, that young. And ordinarily, I wouldn't take a young tenor, but he was a baritone at that time, at that age. But he was, seemed to be so uh, talented and uh, so anxious to do it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I want you to do that again, honey, and watch me for a moment because mm -hmm. you're here. Tutto il futuro 
You give so much as a teacher. What is it that you get back from it? Their development, their excellence, where the voice is going. Hopefully, they will become a big star. You know, that, that takes time, too. You can't tell that right away. I've only had two people that I know of in my life that has come to my studio that I've seen a star. I've always had a star on their forehead. As a star herself, Miss Steber has always put in the practice time to maintain her voice, learn her roles, and keep the even, lovely phrasing that was the hallmark of her 22 seasons at the Met. instrument a singer is an instrument our whole being it's not limited to fingers or lips or breath or that our whole being is the instrument I think you have to know drama you have to uh, be able to interpret um, your songs from a dramatic standpoint therefore <clears throat> that is one of the facets that are necessary that's necessary to a singer is to be a, a good actress to know drama, to know poetry, to know um, um, all of these forms which help to develop the human spirit and the soul. Then that expresses itself through your music. Eleanor Stieber still bridles that she never got to sing with the Met when it moved to its new home here at Lincoln Center. After 404 leading performances, the Met dropped her as a star in the mid-60s. I felt uh, that I was a bit cheated there. But um, I didn't let it bother me, because, you know, I went into other things and enjoyed them just as much and kept... Uh, she sang recitals, sang operas elsewhere in the United States and Europe, and began her teaching, first in Cleveland, then Boston and New York. Have you had any regrets? Regrets? If I had it to do over again, I would do it exactly as I've done it. And if there is such a thing, and I believe that there is as a reincarnation, I hope that when I come back again, I may do it all over again. then that that uh, voices give out or is it simply that people don't know how to sustain the voice at a certain level I think a lot uh, depends upon the technique that you, uh, and the way you've used your voice through your career she is not planning on going anywhere soon however her greatest patron her mother lived until she was 99 she died recently I was really the projection of her I think because she would have been a very fine artist. She would have been an outstanding artist had she had the opportunity that she gave me. Just two days before she passed away, we were talking over the telephone and she sang the, uh, the um, Handel uh, Alleluia Chorus from the Messiah over the phone with me. Unbelievable, really. She was a great woman. <laughs> 